All right, so today I have something really special. This is cool, it's small, but it is completely unopened. It's at 6008 the Royal King from 1995. It is completely sealed and unopened. Super cool. Of course, it's tiny, little tiny box. <laughs> and I think they stopped doing these after a while, <clears throat> after the 90s. But I used to love these minifigure type small boxes, small sets. I mean, it, it's kind of not really a set. It, it almost is, but it's not. <clears throat> I loved putting the, or I love having those in like stockings growing up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I loved just having these in stockings and then birthdays and stuff. I just thought they made a nice little neat gift. Not too big, not a huge commitment or anything, but just, hey, it's collectible, it's small, it, it is cute, <laughs> but um, you get the whole box for the special minifigure or whatever it is, and we'll talk about a few other ones, but, so yeah, this is 6008 Royal King, that's what this size box looks like, the top is just marking, and this is like pristine shape, there's like one tiny little indent, indent in there. <clears throat> this side has a little picture of the king and his horse. Of course, that great sword. Here's this side. He has a flag as well. And you can see made in Switzerland and USA, assembled by LEGO Systems. 1995 LEGO Group. You can see it. Super cool. So that picture is the same on this side as this side and then a couple other things I, I love how they basically did a photo shoot with each set <clears throat> on every box and picture but as you can see completely unopened so we're gonna get this thing opened and build it I know that's kind of a crazy thing to do oh man you probably you guys are gonna probably kick me or leave mean comments but um, yeah, it wasn't a big deal. I got a really, really, really cheap deal on it, so it's pretty awesome to have a time capsule from 1995. So, here we go. We're going to open it and assemble it and talk about it a little more. There we go. Pulling that apart. I'm trying to keep the box from being totally destroyed. Look at that, a time capsule. Perfectly sealed. Lego pieces in there. Of course you get, make sure nothing's really broken. Everything is like shiny, pristine condition. Especially the chrome pieces. It's a literal time capsule, my goodness. And there's the white horse. Ooh, the white horse has gotten a little rubbed, look at that. A little chafing from the cardboard, I guess. <coughs> wow, look at that. Huh, they didn't put it in a bag or anything. It got, it got chafed and rubbed right there. Let's see if we can buff it out. Yeah, it buffs out. Huh, one thing to consider though, if you're looking into completely sealed items. And it also comes with, oh shoot, two, two folding things. Hey Maniacs, join the Lego Club. Free membership. Man, I wonder if I can use this to sign up for membership. <laughs> Even though this is from, boy, 95, that'd be 30 years ago. Just almost under 30 years ago, wow. That octopus is pretty cool. So, you get two, two stamps, I guess, to join the LEGO Club. I'm not sure what that means. But yeah, advertisement about the LEGO Maniac magazine. They're big on the Islanders, I guess, in this episode. Cool. And then you get the 
infamous catalog. We're gonna keep that box in pristine condition here. This one's a small fold-out one. Let's see if it has any differences from the other 95 catalog. Okay, so the main main focus in this fold-out is Islander sets and a couple of pirate sets. There's the Islander lady. It's a cool scene where they're kind of attacking the Man, I forgot what it's called. Skull, Skull Island, maybe? This is the year they stopped doing names on the catalog pieces. And yeah, they have one Imperial set and this, this Pirate Fortress set. And of course, the big Islander set. That was pretty cool. We loved that one. It was huge. Let's see what else they've got on this side. A couple of train things, a new model team. That's a neat train. It's very industrial. New uh, motorbike. And then just kind of a couple of display pictures with the, the town sets. Looks like a Nevada or somewhere, like a desert scene. That's really cool. And then that Spireus and. <coughs> Whatever it was. Unitron. And there's the Aqua Zone. And then of course here's the castle for that year. Of course the focus is on the, the king and the Royal Knights. I think that picture in the top. That's cool. So yeah, that's the little fold-out catalog. And super cool. And as you can see, it doesn't even come with instructions. <laughs> we can. I was halfway expecting some instructions on this, but I think we can figure it out just to looking at the picture. That's pretty weird to have a completely unopened time capsule from 1995. There we go. Here's the king torso. And it kind of just looks. They have the same print on the face as the Dragon Master person which it looks great I really like it uh, I do wish they would have done something slightly different this is the tightest ever oh my goodness wow were... and then you've got his crown it doesn't have a feather or anything even though it's got a place for one but that's wow look at that that is shiny and gold most of them kind of wear off quite quickly. So if you have one of these that is from 95, chances are it's a used set and it's turned to almost a brassy chrome color, which you can't really tell too much on the sides. They always have these blemish marks there, huh? But then on the top, that's a yellow, yellow, yellow compared to other ones. And we'll compare the other kings here in a second. <clears throat> Looks like he's holding a shield in the picture. Give him a shield and then we'll give him his great sword. His chrome sword. This is pristine. And it rubs off quite quickly on this hilt. So I don't really I don't really mess around with him too much. It's really cool. I remember having this as a kid. Yeah. Super cool. Probably in real life you could not wield it one-handed. Maybe you could. It's yeah, it's it's close. I mean, it, it looks cool. It's diving into the fantasy realm. So yeah, this royal king does not have a feather. He looks kind of funny. That's gay. Now I have the horse pieces in case you wanna just uh, you know put the horse on his own. Which, I don't really understand why they didn't use um, smooth plates on the top, tiles on the top of that. It's kind of odd that they never did that. 
two clip horse um, Barney. It's stuck in there. <clears throat> and then he's got a blue wavy flag here. Cool, looks cool. Very simple, very straightforward. And the big thing that year was having having these new chrome pieces and the new prints. That was really the big deal, I'd say. So there you go, not much to it, but that's the Royal King from 1995. Now, really quick, I wanted to compare a couple of other uh, Royal Kings. The next one, next set up is that King's Carriage. And that minifigure, you can see, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but I mean, it still looks pretty good on top. This one's in good condition. This one's in really good condition. It does does go loose really quickly, so he, he barely stays on his head <laughs> in that in the set I have. But you know, it's mostly display purposes. So that's that's King's Carriage King, and it then they introduced him having a feather on top. I kind of like the look of that better, but it is more impractical, and it flies off a lot, like as do all of the feathers in all the Lego sets. So he has these same print and then just white and black pants. And then the next setup <clears throat> that we have the king is the Royal Knight's Castle, the complete, complete castle. And it's very similar to the Royal King minifigure, pretty much the same. You know, he has um, same crown. This one's not too great of shape compared. Oop, it's kind of broken off right there. As you can see. Ooh, sorry. Um, but it still, it still looks okay. And it fits on its head a little bit better. And, um, and he's got the same blue pants and a feather. But then he's got this awesome cape. And this cape tends to be pretty worn in all the, the original sets from that year and um, his this is a little frayed but not too bad but the more importantly the neck connector is still really good condition right there it's really intact it's not too stained or anything it's a really good I'm really happy about that I got that really good cape those are pretty hard to find to be honest so those are the kind of the differences between those Royal Kings. And then, oh yeah, in Royal Knight's Castle, he also gets a horse with this cool parting. That's more of a, uh, yeah, more of a, more of a classic knight barding, but then it has, has a, a Royal Lion. Kind of paying homage to the Lion Knights, but much more detailed. And yeah, it's a neat barding only in this set. And this is unique to, yeah, it's unique to this set. Royal Old Knight's Castle. And then unique to that year. They didn't ever make another one. So there you go, that's the Royal King. And also three other Royal Kings from the other Royal Knight sets represented that year. The Royal Knight's line. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any other suggestions or if you have other uh, other ways you display your kings <laughs> all right thanks take care